Let's see how to set the shading factor. From location node, let's see the lower board and click on the shading tab. This is called solar diagram. It's used to define the shading factor. It's necessary to properly set the shading factor because it will make possible to quantify the correct irradiance value on the location. Site is identified by latitude and longitude. Here we have two possibilities. You can manually set the shading factor or the other one, you can set the shading factor after an accurate survey that we are going to see later. So let's see now the menu. Let's go in the tab and set the manual coefficient. Solarius is warning you, all elements will be deleted. So a new mask will appear. Here you can enter a number from 0 to 1 or click to the information button. This is a common tool. In all section we see the high icon. This is the information button and shows all warning to properly set the calculation. So, 1 means maximum irradiance. So, it means that we don't have any obstacle at the horizon. We are talking about the obstacle to the horizon. But what is an obstacle to the horizon? Mountains, for example, from my point of view, but it could be also a tall building or tall buildings, vegetation that can directly shade. We need to consider vegetation only if shading is really important, is significant. So we'll see how to set vegetation also in the seasonal period. If we put shading factor as 0 0.8, it means that we are considering from east to west or west to east. It depends on which hemisphere I'm designing, in which hemisphere I am. And from less 120 degrees left to less 120 degrees right, I obtain less 20% of solar radiation in one year. We have differing comments in the upper toolbar. As you see, zoom in, zoom out, zoom hold, zooming in the window. They are very useful. Come back to the previous situation, zoom extend. We can use pan command. You can also customize the layers. I can see the solar diagram, for example, with different objects, what I want what I want to see. I can set the shading factor as we already said. We can also save and export as a DWG file. You can also print the solar diagram or you can see a specific day to see the solar radiance. So how sun goes from east to west. And we can also analyze the efficiency. Solarius PV calculate azimuth and tilt values, annual irradiation, and it calculates also the efficiency. If we use a zero azimuth, that means south orientation, and 36 tilt value, I can obtain the 100% efficiency for my solar plant. If we change these values, we are not obtaining the maximum efficiency. This information is very important. This is a useful information and it's valid if we are correctly designing the plan. If picture of the site are correctly imported and shading is properly set. But we are, we are going to see this function in the next videos. We can decide if we want to use the shading factor or not. We also can just leave the shading factor to 1 because Solarius doesn't oblige you to use um, the shading factor. 
um, it's a software, it's a professional software and we can use just like a supervisor. We cannot use all parameters, maybe because we need um, a previous calculation or just a quickly computation or just we, we don't have time. We can quickly set our project or we can accurately design it. We can make a site visit or we can do a detailed analysis of our photovoltaic plant. We can accurately tell our client solar production, economic return, for example, seven, eight or nine years to recover the economic investment. And that's because we made a detailed analysis of all the plants. 